Okay, so originally the title of this video was gonna be What would you do in a zombie apocalypse? But you forget how many fronters there are nowadays talking about <laughs> I screwed your mom last night while shooting zombies in some game. But when a real apocalypse goes down, they'd rather eat themselves off. And you know what? It's a solid take to want to take the easy way out. If you whack. Listen, if you want to die, you want to die gloriously, like a Spartan. I don't know about y'all, but if I woke up to the start of a zombie apocalypse, I'd be hella woke. I'd be like, is this for real? Is this really happening? I know. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Of course I had to be born in the generation the world decides to end. Ugh, like yo, I can't believe this shit. We have to get out of here now. <laughs> no more school, no more work. Oh, it's gonna get lit now. Uh-uh. I don't get why you're so excited about this. Wait, you, you don't happen to have anything to do with this outbreak, do you? No cap, but some of us cornballs have been waiting for this moment our whole lives. And we can thank The Walking Dead for making it look that fun. I like to think I have some useful stuff in my room like katanas, axes, bats, a gas mask, a Spartan helmet, and a water bottle full of pennies. And simps be like, what do you have that junk? Cause it's cool. But just in case something happens, right? When crisis times like these go down, you could be safe in your little hazmat suit going, yeah, that's right. Didn't spend all this moolah here just to flex on Halloween. Ah, oh, sh no, I'm too broke for that. You'll just have to stick with what you've got. Well, you came to the right place. Cause with this wicked reliable survival guide, we're about to end up like them brawly cockroaches that can survive anything and everything. Even when the world goes down the shitter. And by all means, you can take it mad serious if you want. So. First thing you're gonna do when you find out a zombie apocalypse is going down is pull out your phone, take a selfie, put it on Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, I don't judge, and get that clout if we're being realistic. But if you had any real common sense, the first thing you wanna do is put on the right safety gear. No casuals just have a convenient hazmat suit or a suit of armor laying around in their closet, right? Here's what most of us have though, a bed mattress. What the fuck is a bed mattress gonna help me? Take your bed mattress and rip a giant hole big enough for your whole body to fit in it. Make another hole for your face, arms, and legs. The design's cool, cause if you wanna hide, you can just pull back in like a turtle. Watch, 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 okay? Hullaboom! Second thing is, you don't wanna leave your stank ass feet exposed just in case some zombies got foot fetish. Go grab some steel toed shoes, cause when them zombies try to take a bite out of your toes, they'll be losing all their teeth instead. Tim's are OP! Going back to the mattress armor, the only downside's gonna be that you're probably not gonna have much mobility, so you'll be getting zombie slobber all over you. Eventually, you'll get so bored you'd rather just have one of them Shrek looking mofos bite you. Unless you meet the one person who eats mattresses for a living, then you're pretty much screwed. What are the chances though? You're more likely to slide, trip, do a flip, and fall backwards on some brains. And that'd be the end of that. Oof. Hey, thank God this cushion saved my head. <sighs> Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, fuck! <laughs> there. Oh, there. There's a lot more setbacks than I thought. Scrap it all. I take it back. For the sake of ease and being twinkle toes, go out there with joggers and tank tops. Whatever gets you hauling ass. Next, you want to build a smart, loyal, grateful team you can appreciate. Obviously, you want to bring your family and friends. But besides them, the few types of people I'd want to recruit are a medic, a genius, a jack of all trades who can do karate and shit, a buff Rambo type of dude, and a cheerleader. Because it's important to stay positive. <laughs> no! What are we gonna do? We just lost Pedro! Goddamn Pedro! Oh my god, if he wasn't dead yet before, you dead ass killed him this time. <laughs> Man, Calm get down, Chad. Grip. Hey, I know! Why don't we go to Ikea and get some hot dogs? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are good. Or, ooh, eh, eh. You guys want to free all the animals at the zoo? Huh? Let's go on cage opening spree. <gasps> oh, 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 why don't we go to Disneyland and look at all the attractions? <gasps> Better yet, let's go to Disney Animation Studios and see the drafts for the upcoming movies. Huh? Huh? Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Sorry. Wait, I'm down. I want to see all the live action remakes. Stop. No, you don't. Hence why you need a cheerleader, because everyone else is going to be an emo during this apocalypse. Once you found your squad, 
go find some weapons and get loaded with them. People would immediately think of guns and grenades. Nah, 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 nah. don't be stupid. Too much reliability on firearms would attract attention to other nearby zombies, so you're better off trying to limit usage with those. Alternatively, go for the sledgehammers, machetes, bats, crossbows, katanas, whatever the hell this is. What, you want an even cooler weapon? Yeah, whoa, mama. These Wolverine claws are gonna kick so much ass. I mean, slice so much ass. Like you can do the YMCA dance and kill zombies without even realizing it. Or you can go Taz mode spinning like crazy going like, ah! and be like one of them circular saw blades. Just make sure not to scratch your face by accident or you're gonna end up looking like Freddy Krueger. Now it's time to start making moves. The one place you're definitely not gonna stay in long term if you're not a knob is a supermarket. You got good storage of food there, but most of the produce is gonna smell like garbage juice in the next few days. Unless you're down to pelt some zombies with rotten fruit first before moving on to Costco, Home Depot, Target, Walmart, or Amazon package buildings, cause nowadays they got mostly everything you need to survive. You could get creative by putting the treadmills they got inside around the building entrances, all except one secret door so you can leave. Fat ass zombies can finally start doing cardio instead of chasing meat. If you got a case of train to Busan zombies where they can run like Usain Bolt. Just max the speed of it so they can fly all the way to Jersey. I don't know if the electricity will work or not, but it's worth a shot anyways. Another practical getaway plan is to start collecting some food, first aid kits, clothes, your pets, whatever, whoever else you need on a boat. And move to a deserted island that's pretty far but hopefully stocked with natural food and okay living conditions. Who knows if zombies can survive underwater? But even if they could, can they swim? More realistically, I think they just drift in the water going like, Duh. until they just rot and decompose. I don't know about y'all, but I'm just waiting for zaddy Elon Musk to come up with a way for us to move to Mars. But if that doesn't happen and all else fails, you'd have a reason to keep moving. And that's when you're really gonna scrap with some zombies along the way. Some people are too scared to snuff zombies and that's fine. My advice is to either play another role that's helpful to the team or you overcome your fears by by turning it into a contest. Make it a fun game. I bet I can get way more head counts than you in the next hour. Yeah? Winner gets the last Twinkies. Bring it on, biatch. Next thing you know, you'll all be killing zombies left and right, up and down, sideways, diagonally, fourth dimensionally, just for some Twinkies. You might even get a chance to run into a zombie celebrity and take a selfie with them. And during that whole ordeal, one of you might actually get bitten. And that's when shit hits the fan. What's next? Zam, it really do be like that sometimes, huh? Well, there goes my arm. I guess that's that. It's time for me to meet Jesus. Goodbye. Oh, 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 shit. What the fuck? Listen, I saw this on The Walking Dead when you get bitten. The infections are like a parasite. It slowly spreads through your whole body, so you just gotta cut off that one part that got bitten as soon as possible. Hell no. This is my dominant arm. I can't draw, play sports, Eat, gamble, do anything without this arm. I'd rather go. Nah, you buggin'. Mad people have been born without body parts and still going on like champs. You're a champ, aren't you? Let me swing. Nah, that ain't me. It's my life, my choices. Medic, please say something. Man, hold still. Can't you see I'm trying to cut your arm off? Yeah, and that's exactly why I'm not holding still. You're a crackhead, leave me alone. Hear ye, hear ye. I'm the bearer of mad terrible news. <clears throat> this was an accident, but I think he got what he wanted. So that makes it okay. I just had a thought. What happens if a mosquito gets zombified? Just one of the legs could get bitten off while the zombie's trying to eat another dead guy's body. Since they already swarm over places that got massive stenches of blood. One infected mosquito could breed with another mosquito, make some zombie mosquito babies, and suck everyone's blood for food. And if they have the power to turn us humans into zombies, then fuck it, we're screwed. The end. You can't be attached to anyone who turns into a zombie. Even your loved ones. They'll only see us as a nice piece of tomahawk steak after the change. Nothing else. The moment they turn into a zombie, it's time to say goodbye. At any rate, it's a whole messed up game of survival. You need to be 24-7 aware of your surroundings and prepared for every single situation. Invest in a fighting class or something, I don't know. Or, if you're a metal type of guy or gal, you could give zombies a taste of their own medicine and bite them instead. You probably turn into a zombie yourself, but at least you got your bittersweet revenge.